Hi guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. So welcome to part three of today's Q and A's. This is the last part of the day. And if I don't get to your questions today, I promise I will get to them next week when my Q and A is next week. And if you miss part two or part one, then I will put both of them in the con in the description and you can check them out and let's get into your questions so I can hurry and try and squeeze in as many as I freaking possibly can because I ramble just like I'm doing right now. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry, mom. Uh, uh. <coughs> I'm so impolite. Why do you guys like me? I, uh, whatever. Okay. So Daniel Caitley, my friend Danny. Hi, Danny. I love you. I hope you feel better, Shani Fanny. Thank you. Question. Have you ever tried CBD for pain management? Cannabidiol, cannabidiol, CBD is one of the active ingredients in cannabis. CBD oil is a dietary supplement and an excellent source of nutrients that can be safely consumed by kids and adults as part of the, their daily diet. Unlike, unlike THC oil, CBD oil is legal and is not psychoactive meaning that it does not cause one to get high which is caused by the thc i don't know if you have dispensary dispensaries danny why are you using big words you know that i don't know big words i don't know if you have dip in dispensaries in your area if it is legal over there or how much it would cost but i'm curious as as to if you've ever done any research on it, consider trying it. Thanks, doll. Thank you. I have no idea what the freak you're talking about, um, but I will look it up now. We have some responses, though. Tova Loren says, um, it's not legal in Utah. I'm in Idaho, not horribly far from Shani. Cool. Hi, neighbor. <sighs> and our state still won't legalize it. I so wish they would. I have several autoimmune diseases. I can't help... I can help so many people. It can help so many people. Unfortunately, both her state and mine aren't on that bandwagon so much. That's a bummer. Oh, dang. I'm still going to look into it, though, because now I'm curious what the crap you're talking about. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay. Self-love is loading says, what are your thoughts on the power of prayer? Do you believe prayer for any religion has a powerful positive effect? I'd like to also know your thoughts on a video I, I recently saw on Facebook. Warning, it's kind of sad. Please answer my question if you have time. I love you. I love you too, honey. First of all, my thoughts on the power of prayer. You guys all know that I believe strongly in God and I also do believe in prayer and the power of prayer. Um, I have always had... I've, I've never been one of those people who feels like, like I get a direct, like, voice or something from God giving me an answer or that I get a very specific sign of what he wants me to do or whatever. I've never been one of those people. And so I literally, probably 10 years ago, I finally figured out to just start saying, listen, I am clearly not good at hearing you if you're trying to talk to me. I'm not good at letting that in. I'm really not. I'm not good at like seeing little signs here and there. So if you need to tell me something, can you freaking give me the biggest sign possible? And I would ask specifically, not joking. This is so embarrassing, but it's true. Like one time, I'm trying to think of the best one I ever asked for because they're all kind of silly. This is embarrassing, but hey, we all got to do it our own way, right? What was I talking about that one time? Oh, I remember. Okay, so I remember um, I was having like a nervous breakdown and I couldn't get a hold of Danny. And so I said a prayer and I said, Heavenly Father, like, are you there? Are you there? I need a sign that you're there. I need a sign that I'm going to be okay. I need something. And I had been trying to call Danny all day and I couldn't get a hold of him because he was super busy at work. And I just called him probably 50 times and he would never answer. So I pray and I'm like, if you're there and if you love me and if there's a way that I can get through this right now, please specifically have Danny call me in the next 10 minutes. And he did. He called me nine minutes later. And for me, 
that's so embarrassing. But for me, that's what I had to do because I'm just not good at listening or feeling or whatever. So I do believe that it's possible. I do. And I've, that's just one example. Throughout my entire life, I have had prayers answered in so many different ways. Some, some are unexpected. Some are even better than I expected. And I feel very, um, like I, I believe strongly in it. I, I really do. And I have been so blessed so many times after praying, like if I'm vulnerable enough to turn myself to God and ask for help, I almost always find the answer somewhere and right away. And it's always, and, and I always do get helped. I always get helped. So I do believe in it. That's my opinion. And then you want me to watch a video. Hold on. I'm going to show people this though. Should we watch it together? Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay. Can you even see it? I'm not going to be able to see it. What is happening? could see that that was really sweet hold on I want to read the description because I think this guy must have been dying or something I don't know if you could see it but there was a whole crowd of people outside of his window singing this to him let's read the description this is Tim McGraw this is from Tim McGraw a friend sent me this today Ben Ellis and a Nashville area high school teacher battling cancer. The entire student body, 400 plus students, plus high school faculty, drove to his house to worship with him. Our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. So precious and kind. That is the sweetest. I'm going to put the link to that below so that you guys can watch that. That is really, really sweet. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, sorry, I got to find my place again. That was really sweet. That made me a little teary. There, I, I think the power of prayer is, you guys know how I feel about it, but truly, 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 I believe, I feel that God is real and that when we use like our bodies and our minds to come together like that and to like love each other and pray with each other and be there for each other, like that's incredible. Like. We are capable of so much love. Um, we just have to do it, you know? Thank you for sharing that, that's sweet. Okay, where the crap was I? I have no idea where I was. Should I sing until I find, oh yeah, I do need to sing for you. I don't wanna sing a poop song after watching that. All right, okay, hold on. Who was it that sent me that? Hold on. Sorry, I know this is boring and I'm not going to edit this video. Sorry, 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 sorry. Am I annoying you enough? Sorry. Well, there's Danny, so it should be. Oh, here it is. So it was self love is loading that sent me that. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, there are people out there that are going through things that are beyond what I'm going through and what you're going through, and it just amazes me when the human race comes together like that and uses their love to help other people. I love that. So thank you for that. Okay. Lucy just shut up. Oh, 
Uh, do your family know about your eating disorder? If so, did you tell them or did they find out? You are a fighter. Love you. I love you too, Lucy. I don't want you to shut up. I think you're nice. Yes, my family does know. Um, it's kind of a long story. I've told it many times, so I will sum it up really quickly. Are you ready for this? This is going to be the fastest I've ever told it. My sister found out about my bulimia because I went to her house and ate dinner and she heard me throwing up. And so she barged in while I was throwing up and she and her husband, while they're watching me with puke coming down my hands and things like that, get on the phone and call my mom and be like, do you know what your daughter's doing? You need to punish her for this. And so then I went home and my mom punished me because back then people didn't know how to deal with it because people thought that it was like a choice and that it was something that was bad and a, beta, a way to rebel and stuff. And so she didn't know how to handle it. So that's how they found out. But then I just started over the years as I matured, I started letting people in on a more personal level and telling them what it's really about. And they've become so much more understanding about it the more that I've taught them about it and and taught them where why it happens and where it comes from so they all know now every obviously <laughs> anybody who knows me now knows anybody out there can know now but yes they do know and they love me and they support me and now that they know how to deal with it um i've never blamed them for not knowing before it was not their fault just it just was not talked about back then and that's why i'm trying to change that and get it get people talking about it so okay Sydney Grace. Hi, Shani. First off, I love you so much and thank you for being such an inspiration. Thank you. I love you too. My question is, on your worst days of your eating disorder, how do you stay positive? Um, I kind of talked about this yesterday about faking it till I make it. That's kind of what I have to do. I have to fake it and eventually the fakingness, I guess, just becomes natural and you and you start to like really feel what you were trying to fake. You know, like just keep faking it, keep trying over and over and over. And eventually it's just going to feel natural to actually feel that way because you've been trying to fake it for so long that it just becomes habit, I guess, or your true feelings or whatever. So I don't know. But also, also, I have 11.6 thousand people out there who leave me extremely kind and uplifting comments and messages every day and all I have to do is go to my computer and read those if I'm struggling and it brings me right back up. So I love you guys. You know that I tell you all the time, but yeah, that's what I do. What do you do? You guys, everybody else, what do you do when you're struggling? How do you try and stay positive? Okay, um, Xeniax, I don't know how to say your name, X-E-N-I-A-X, -E no clue, but it's pretty. Hey, Shani, I just discovered your account and you are so lovely, thank you. Concerning your Q&As and that you probably have answered several questions in the past, maybe you could put the questions of a Q&A video in the video description so that we could look up what you have already answered or which questions are answered in which video. I think that would help the viewers um, that want to get to know you better like me and would also be good for you as hopefully there won't be that many questions asked um, that you have already answered. Lot, lots of love. You can keep up recovery, cutie pie. Thank you. I love you too. That is a great idea. You're brilliant. Welcome to my Shani family. You are brilliant. I'm going to do that. That's going to take a lot of time, but I'm happy to do that. I'm going to go back to all my Q&As. I've been trying to do the playlist thing where I separate my videos into playlists. Um, like I have all my singing videos and like a lot of you are wanting me to sing more um, and you should go watch my singing playlist video. Um, I did a lot of fun songs. Um, I really liked um, oh Holy Night, that was a good one from last Christmas. I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs in the whole world. And yeah, so go look at those if you want to see me singing. And then, yeah, with the Q and A's, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna go back and it's gonna take me a long time, but I'll get it done eventually. And hopefully that'll help you guys. So thank you, that's a really good, 
That is a really, 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 really good suggestion. Is there a question in here? I can't tell if this is a question or a comment. I'm going to read it anyway, though. Dazzling Frankie XOX. Okay, so this girl just started her own channel, and are you the one that said it was because of me and Tommy? I think you are. She's so freaking beautiful and inside too she's so gorgeous so go check her out i will put i'll forget that too i'll put her information below as well dazzling cranky uh, uh, you're welcome Okay, so love your introduction. I barely wear proper bras anymore. Don't find them very comfortable anymore. I prefer sports bras, but wear bras, but wearing bras is important for the muscles. Yeah, I only wear sports bras too. They're a little bit padded, but that's all I wear. Um, I love the comment for the Snow White. That is so cute. Oh, you're so sweet. There's not really a question here. You're just being really sweet. Both are beautiful souls talking about me and Danny. You're the cutest. <laughs> I am watching this on the toilet. Good stuff. That's my girl. Yeah. You should always watch YouTube from the toilet. Okay, I'm going to move on because I want to find more questions. Not that I don't love you. I love you very much, Frankie. Okay. This is really boring. Should I sing? <gasps> it's really long. I should sing before we go. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, I felt really sick. My teeth really hurt, and I could barely eat anything, even mashed potatoes. So one night I decided to go back to the emergency room and I told them I was in pain and they set me up with an IV and poked me five billion times before they finally found a vein. Once they found that vein they pumped me full of fluids, and they pumped me full of drugs, which made me loopy. But what I didn't really realize is that when you have that many drugs in your system, it makes it hard to poop. And so once again, I was constipated and I felt really sick. So I did all the enemas and they were not working and all they did was give me more hemorrhoids and fissures, which are cuts inside the anus hole. And so then I started eating peaches and mangoes and other fruits that have a billion fiber grams. And then last night, I'm sorry, I sat on the toilet and I propped my legs up on a stool, no pun intended. And all of a sudden, the mangoes made their way through my colon and they flushed out all the drugs and I had a really good poop and it hurt like hell. But it was worth it. And I would like to sing some more, but it's really late, and I'm worried that I'm waking up my parents, 
and my husband who's asleep in the next room and so I'll end this song by saying that I am so grateful that I finally pooped. That was a long song. And I have stuff in my teeth. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If I did not answer your question in any of these three Q&As from today, they will be answered next week on my Q&A. Um, and stay tuned because I'm kind of switching some days up and I'm going to make an announcement video about that very, very soon. Um, yeah, so, okay. So I love you and thank you for watching and thank you for the questions. You guys are wonderful and I don't know where I'd be without you. So, okay, so have a wonderful day. You are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching, bye. I'm not sounding very good today, I apologize.